We got I a master battery cutoff switch. I made the camera. And we got a grill. Hooray! I can't believe this is happening. Yeah! yeah. Well, we're back here in my house in the barn. And on this episode, we're gonna do a couple things. One, we're finally gonna work on the grill. I know, I've been saying it for 333 years, but we're finally gonna do it now. And two, we're gonna put a master battery cutoff switch on tri fi by Fire because that's a safe thing to do. So that's what we're gonna do. Here comes the dog. Sick. What up, dog? Last time we got the headlights done. That was cool. Now we're finally gonna get the grill done. I've been saying this for, I don't know, three episodes now? Yeah, 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 I hear you. Dogs over here just totally scratching. Itchy? Okay. People go, why don't you put the original grill back in? The original grill weighs like 9,000 pounds. It's really heavy. Okay, it might not weigh 9,000, but it's heavy. And we don't need to add weight to it. So it gives us an opportunity to make something different. So if you remember, I did do the paper template. It turned out pretty close off the body lines right here. <laughs> off the mold lines. And down here, I got a little lost. I did the paper. It's pretty close. I refined it a little bit. So then my second backup was to take a photo of the car straight on and then line out the, uh, the grill opening. We'll go step by step on that and then you can see how that process goes. And then I'll throw the file over to Kyle and Kyle will cut it on the plasma table at work. And then I'll get it back and then we'll put it on the car here. So yeah, that's it. Today, two things, grill finally and the master battery cutoff switch. So what is a master battery switch? There's one right here. So what it does, you actually like turn it on, turn it off. What it really does is it controls the ground on the battery and it's necessary out the track because the car is like on fire or something or I fall asleep or something on the track that's unsafe. Someone can run up behind it and shut it off right away. And then everything's fine. So that's what it's for. So for me, it's gonna do two things. It's gonna stop it from uh, my battery draining and two, It'll uh, make us safe and make us compliant with the NHRA rules. So what's good is I went to uh, Performance Carb today and had them weld some stuff on me. I didn't get an actual welder. I didn't have time to learn from Dan. So I just ran over there and Ron Jr. and Ron Sr. helped me out. They got everything set up on the car for I meet up front. For the piece I cut off on the frame rail, well, they welded and boxed it back in. So while I was there, Ron Sr. said, hey, I'll just make this for you real quick. You just got to drill the hole, bolt to the bottom of the bumper, and then we can go ahead and mount it. I was actually just gonna drill a hole right here and just put the switch in there, so this is better. Let's start measuring this out and drill it out. There. I got another battery ground cable that goes through the back of the switch. We're good. And it just comes underneath here. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. Oh, dang it. Forgot to put that on there. That is for my gas gauge. Let's put that back on. But anyways, well, let's see which one, which way it works and I'll put that back on. Anyway. Okay, nothing's turning on. Yep, there you go. Fans are on, fuel pump's running. We're good to go. Turn off the ignition in the car. Turn that off. No more battery drain. We're good. This is awesome. Got another win. Mark it off the list. Sick. So yep, yeah, let's go in here and write this down. And we put in the mastery cutoff switch. This is my art studio at the house. This is it. So a bunch of my junk's up here. Diecast, paintings I've done. The collab I did with the Muppets many years ago. So yeah. That's legit too. That's not just something I did, it's legit.
that's kind of cool. I like it. It looks looks kind of tough. It looks like teeth a little bit, like a mouth. So I like that. Cooling wise, I mean, everything black will be cut out. Everything not would be still solid. So there might be some concern about that. I'm not sure. I have a really powerful fan on it. And the car doesn't seem to have a problem. So I mean, geez. Hmm. I mean, I could always increase the size of this these larger to give it more but i do like the balance of it so i guess i'll take the file and i'll throw it over to kyle and him cut it all right so i'm cutting out john's grill right now got it all set up to 45 amps uh he's asked me to do this for quite a while and i finally got a minute so hopefully this turns out good for him Chase. Kyle. What do you think, bud? Dude, stoked. Thank you very much. You're welcome, man. You've been waiting for me to cut this out for quite some time, no. so. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've been promising doing a grill for like three episodes, so it's about time. Well, I'm happy to help, man. Yeah, this is cool, man. Drill some holes to mount it, paint it, put it on the car. Stoked. Thank you very much, Kyle. You're welcome. Thank Dude. you, John. Thank you. Of Sick. course. So fun. Okay, well, here we are, back home. Got the Tri-5 by Fire here, and we've got the grill sort of mocked up, best way to put it. I only have two of these clamps. If I had more, I could be tighter, but it gives you an idea what it's gonna look like. This is what it looks like on the car. So the deal is, get it mocked up, mark all of the spots where I wanna put fasteners, and then I'm going to countersink them, and let them go in, and that way they look a little more finished than a button head or a bolt. And then we'll mount it up. After the mounting up, I will decide what color I'm gonna paint this because I don't want to leave it like this. If the car still was super, like had the original front clip on it, I'd leave the patina and probably let it rust. Uh, but now I don't have that. Something I'm meaning either painting it red, which might be kind of cool, interesting, we'll see. I'm gonna mock it up, um, black, or I could do the marbleizing on it like I did with my helmet and in the trunk. That could work out pretty good too, maybe. So, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, this is it. Brought the grill up here, put on these uh, saw horses. Gonna mark right here. We're gonna drill the hole, and we're gonna countersink the hole. This is the hardware. They're a little long, I admit, but I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So, got my drill, and we'll start drilling. go all cut ready to go let's see how this works if i need to i can take it off and add some more but that will do it i will put this back on the car clamp it back up mark the holes drill the holes into the fiberglass and then we will put the machine screws in it and then put it in the car all right so i'm just going to mark with the marker every single one of these holes we'll drill it we'll take it off i wish we we'll do it again. Daddy. i guess i can just drill it in place try that out what's the worst could happen <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna drill the rest of these holes up and then we'll get the hardware in and Why that's it. We're gonna, call so it we're gonna call it done for now. Penny, hmm. what do you think of the grill? Really? <laughs> Man. It's good. It's good? It's pretty good. I'm happy with it. Camera. Hang on a second. Uh, we got the grill in. <laughs> And uh, we're going to tighten those, the hardware, and that's how we're going to run it for the time Damn being. <laughs> for the time being, and then we will take it off. We'll paint it out. And then, yeah. It should be yellow. And then, again, yeah, I'll cut the rest of that opening out so you don't see it. It Ow, should be paint. yellow. It's not going to be yellow. It should be blue. Oh, boy. We got a master the battery cutoff switch. I need the camera. And we got a grill. Hooray. Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy? I need the camera. Why? You should have been paying attention. Should have been paying attention. Yes, I should have been paying attention. I totally agree. <laughs>